Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Thank you for meeting with us today. Oh, anytime. You're seen as a role model in our community. What do you think has made others view you this way? Uh, I would say my job title made others think that I'm a role model. You know, um, growing up uh, as a youth, uh, we were taught that uh, law enforcement, any first responders are, are role models in the community. So, How do you see that growing up African American shaped your personal identity and life experience? Well, you know, everyone's different. Uh, for me, I wouldn't say necessarily my uh, race to find who I am, but uh, I would say my characteristics, you know, what I bring to the table um, really showed who I am as a person, and people judge me that way. What message do you have for young people of Southeast Texas, especially those who are marginalized for various reasons? Do what's right now, because what you do now will affect what you do in the future. Um, whether you're trying to get a job or you need someone to look out for you, um, so they will always go back and see what type of person you was growing up. So just take her business up front. What's on the top of your bucket list? Mm, I would love to go up north and um, have a successful elk hunt. That's my goal one day to do. What is your sonic drink order? Sonic drink order? Uh, you know, as a kid or in high school, uh, my go-to drink was a uh, ocean water slush, but uh, I would say anything with uh, Powerade slush is good. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like and last question: What's your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment, um, I would say, graduating college. Um, me and my t my twin brother and I we graduated from Stephen F. Austin, and we were the first in our family to be college graduates, and. With me graduating college, it really set, set me up for what I am now today. Thank you for answering all the questions. It was nice meeting you. Yes, ma'am. Anytime. Nice to meet y'all, too. <laughs>